got a couple of features, and I'm like, bro, you should save that money. Because it's like they gave that nigga D word. Like, all right, nigga, I'm going to go get here. Oh, that's crazy. Give you some D word. is yeah. crazy. <laughs> Like that's crazy. Yeah, dude, it's all crazy. <laughs> gave my nigga D word. <laughs> they gave him what? <laughs> all right, man, my bad. They gave him what, what's the equivalent to a D sixty nine percent though. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> he just going with the flow. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit, motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. a Podcast, episode 175, man. We got special guests in the building, man. I know I say that a lot, but my dog doing a lot of shit, man. Goddamn, we gonna start off with a motherfucking uh, official um, DJ for payroll. Goddamn, basketball trainer. I remember you was training with extra grind training and yeah, shit, dog. Still got that. Oh, yeah, still, still doing the hoop shit, man. Uh, motherfucking, I remember you uh, you hoop for Murray Wright, man. Yeah. Motherfucking, um, first game. You played, dog. You wasn't even already in the school yet. You still in eighth grade, right? Yeah. <laughs> play, play against um. Damn, y'all play against Renaissance. Damn. <laughs> <Don't play> against... <laughs> and you came in that bitch and helped, y'all. Damn. Dog. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> did, did a little research, man. You yeah. a hooper out here, dog. That was a good. Shit, was... Sh- shout out to my dog uh, T Mac, man. He did, he gave me the info. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T oh, Mac hated me that game. <laughs> that's crazy. We got DJ Marathon in the building, man. Yeah, what's, what's good? My brother. Dude. Everything smooth with you? Yeah, that's that's cold though, cause T Mac hated me that game. Yeah, I didn't even know them. I yeah, that's what he said. Like nigga, we even know. I never met them. Yeah, we didn't know young dog. He came in the bitch and he said this nigga actually. Help us win. Yeah, I ain't know. Uh, Cause y'all played the Saint, right? Yeah, we played at Saint Cecilia. Mm-hmm. That's when the summer league at the Saint was for sure. Like in the that, prime time. Was that shit when it was still hot as fuck with the big fan in the corner? Oh uh, man, I don't even think the fan was. In the corner. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> it was one of them hot games, and the crazy part that was the uh, Joe Malik last year. Yeah, and that was Tawan Porter. Uh, I want to say sophomore or junior year. Yeah, hell and yeah. I ain't know who. I ain't know who them niggas was. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave, got a game, huh? Oh, man, I was straight off of middle school. <laughs> dog, yeah, yeah, because he was a hooper, dog. He went to uh, a school that kicked my team ass, dog, Noble. Yeah, damn, that was he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Noble on the west side, man, over yeah. there, dog. My, uh, I remember, I'm like, dog, who is these niggas over here? I was, like, coaching, like, probably, like, five years ago. Then, man, them, them little niggas kicked our ass, bro. Nah, Noble. Yeah, Noble. They keep them, man. Some certain schools just keep hoopers, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. In the and, neighborhood, and then after that. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get some motherfucking hood I, niggas. I, I had to escape from the neighborhood. Because uh, Murray was my neighborhood school. Yeah, for sure. What was your neighborhood I was, school? I wasn't went to McKenzie. Mm. Yeah, McKenzie was my neighborhood school. All right, hold on. Before we get to all that, though, <laughs> we start everything off with Salute Me While I'm Here. And it's crazy that you here because you was real close to uh, Slick B, DJ Slick B. Uh, and yeah. the reason why I started the whole Salute Me While I'm Here was because of that. When I saw he, he passed away, I didn't know him, but I saw all the love he got. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, it'd be dope to show people love before, you know what I'm saying, somebody pass away. Mm, oh, yeah, for sure. So, for you know, sure. you got anybody you want to shoot some flowers to that's mm. not, like, in your immediate circle. When I say immediate circle, I'm talking, like, mom, pops, siblings. I don't know if you got a lady. Like, somebody outside of that circle. Man, everybody that's out here grinding, man. Yeah. Like, for real, especially in the entertainment business that we in. Mm-hmm. Like, that shit is a sacrifice, for real. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, so, hell yeah, yeah. Everybody that's grinding. Man, I'm going to salute... Um, a couple people, cause uh, I coach basketball at the uh, Academy of Warren, okay, yeah. and uh, I had a girl. She a best player on my team, bro. But her shoes was slicker than this table. Yeah. So nigga, yeah. she trying to play defense. She it's trying to play dog. She get mad, yeah. and nobody peeping it but me. So I'm like, dog, let me see the bottom of your shoe. Shit, slick, slick, slick as hell. So I went on uh, Facebook just seeing people had some shoes they wanted to donate. Yeah. And then a couple people, shit, sent me bread and bought some shoes. Oh, no, nah, yeah. So shout out to my nigga Tom. Shout out to my oh, cousin Lance, sure. my yeah. cousin Portia, and uh, my dog Derek. They all sent a couple of dollars to go ahead and give her some shoes. So after I leave here, I'm going to go cop her some shoes and shit, dog. Oh, that's cool. Probably yeah. some shoes, some socks, some shorts, dog. Just because I know how that shit is, dog, when you... No, you, for sure. You, she can't do shit about it. I used to wear my cousin shoes. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, man. I wish I kept the whole team, but she she desperately needed some new shoes, bro. No, for sure. Like she, nigga, she walked off mad as fuck, and nobody knew but me. Like they get mad at her, but I understood. Yeah, when I seen the shoes, like, nah, she can't go out like that, dog. Say, the water at the bottom of the shoe. Yeah, help, dog, no, at all, dog. Ain't you wipe, you wipe away, dog. Ain't man. shit gonna help, dog. But you say, uh, so what made you go to um? 
Speaking of hooping, what made you go to Murray and go hoop there, though, instead of going uh, to your neighborhood school or anywhere else? Really, like, they look, they had a coach that, uh, actually, they started player at the time was my next door neighbor. Okay. I grew up with him, so. Yeah. But I ain't never know how deep in the hooping he was. For sure. He was a 6'9 guard for real. <laughs> yeah. Like, before you even knew it, but he played center, but he used to break the press for him. Yeah. And he was ranked, what, like, top 50 players, uh, in his year, like he was the NBA top fifty, you know, like he was Damn. number two in his position in the nation. Uh, I was sitting on his porch, and his coach, and his coach pulled up, who was coming to get him. Yeah. He, uh, was about to take them to uh, Battle Creek. Okay, and okay. he was like, "Man, what grade you in?" I'm like, "I'm about to go to the ninth. He was like, "You in school yet?" Yeah. And I was really about to go to Cooley. Yeah, yeah for sure. I played with Cooley that whole summer league. <laughs> dipped on. Him. Yeah, like I played. With- <laughs> The Cooley coach used to come give me. I played with them that whole summer league. And he was like, you want to go to Battle Creek? Yeah. And I'm like, shit, I'm thinking Battle Creek somewhere in California. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never been outside the city. Like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, let's go. I ain't never went that far to hoop. Yeah, mm-hmm. You feel me? I went man. with them, and it was over after that. Yeah, dog. Because I'm like, man, I seen that you was uh, friends on, on Instagram with T-Mac. Yeah, so I'm like, dog, tell me tell me something about dog that, uh, you know what I'm saying, I could surprise him with. He's like, dog, that nigga was a hooper. Yeah. Like, he could hoop for real, like, for real. Everybody right? know. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. But that's that's crazy. That's how the marathon and the uh, basketball coincide with each other. Because yeah. everybody know me from hooping already. Like, mm-hmm. even everybody that was, like, the street, the promoters, the people that come out. Yeah. They know me from hooping for already. For sure. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. They just put the respect because I, mean, I was good. Yeah. Man, and T Man, he was a nigga in the hood because he's we grew up in the same hood. Yeah. Nigga had slow moves but kill you, dog. Like, uh, get I've to been the T Man was like one of the coldest sleepers ever. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Like, bro, 6'4 with a 6'9 wings. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, long as hell, dog. Like, balls. dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was cold, though. Dog, dog. he definitely was one of That's the- funny, though, because, man, I had to check to my and I was like, man, who is this? I thought he was a little nigga. Yeah, man. Really. Yeah, man. That nigga flew past me like three times and dog, shot at three. Well, Back then, bro, around that era, niggas was hooping. Nah, it was real hooping. Like, I went to SC, dog. So, you had, like, BJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, um, Big Walk. What was the other jumping in? It was another little uh, Fool, Rashawn Marshall. Marshall. Yeah, he, like, they, we had squad. Uh, Finney had Puna uh, in them, dog. Jonathan Ulyas Kelly. there, too? Ulyss, yep. Yeah, yep. Ulyss was Willie Muskin, too. light-skinned shooter, yep, dude. Yep. yep. Then you had uh, Puna for, um, and Jonathan Kelly, I mean, Jonathan Kelly for uh, Finney. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you had hoopers, bro. Like, nah, for sure did. Yeah. Yeah, you had King had King was like a hooping school. Yeah, yep. Mar Smith. Yeah, my boy Kurt. Kurt, yeah, yep. they had uh Lil Bay. Yeah, man. Some, it was some hoopers in it. Like Cash, yeah, they had Chris Doug when yep. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Chris, nigga was full hours, dog. Yeah, Chris Doug transferred and went to NO and we still had to play NO. Central. Duh. Bro, like the hooping back then, like I know, like right everybody here, everybody could have went to yeah, Google, uh, yeah. And see, like now everybody going to the birds to hoop, yeah, like yeah, anybody sure. in the DPS for real, like and they getting them scholarships, though. they giving them boys out. Mm-hmm. Like you look up all these kids going, for which sure. I like that, but back then, yeah. well, if you was going D one, you was down there like an NBA prospect <laughs> yeah, yeah, for in sure. our eyes, like oh, no. you going where? Like, Who did you mind your game after when you was hooping back then? Man, I t- it's real crazy. Yeah, I mean, I never like. Really watched anybody. No, I hate niggas like that, though. Who like- no, I swear. Like, <laughs> I just used to hoop, just to hoop. Man. Yeah. I used to stay outside or hang with my older cousins. Dog, so you, like, never, like, really watch basketball like that? Man, never for real. Damn. Like, I- even to this day, I still, like, I be watching him, but I don't watch it for real. Man, that's... I, my favorite player growing up was, like, t Mac. Okay, okay, okay. But, like, I ain't hoop like t Mac. <laughs> no, that shit crazy, bro. Like, yeah. My boy N one we call him N one his name yeah. Will Buller. That fool never watched basketball. But he'd do any move he see, dog, yeah, and man. go out there and just kill niggas. Yeah, that's how my man. I used to watch N1. Yeah. For real, now that you say that, that's what I used to watch. Yeah, man. For real, like, just figure out how to do the right move without yeah. getting caught for a carry or something. All right, man. I'm going I'm to say I'm gonna say a bar, and you tell me first thing that comes to mind. But you say, uh, for the first time I'm doing something right, baby girl, I'm getting nervous. You the one I want to be on this earth with, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, squeezy, yeah. nigga. That was, yeah. <laughs> I like that one, Doug. Geek. <laughs> so uh, before my boy was a, well, uh, you know some people. <laughs> before my boy was a DJ, man. Like war. <laughs> what, 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 uh, black like, say, wait, how you know that? No, before my boy was a hey, DJ, he, man. He was in his rap bag, you know, yeah. Squizzy, man. Varsity yeah. music, right? Yeah, uh, VMG. Yeah. yeah, talk about that, bro. You had to know my boys. I ain't gonna lie. 
They got some hitting jewels over there. Yeah. We got a young boy named Visa. He was cold, like a yeah. little Wayne type rapper. Yeah. And he was 14, 15 years old. And he did the uh the uh black and yellow, but he uh remissed it, did the Michigan oh, State. I had shit. Michigan State. Yeah. Going crazy. <laughs> the Knicks knew, you know, Derek Nix. Yeah. He played at Murray with me. Okay. Yeah. So like, he was my, when I graduated. He transferred because our school closed. Mm -hmm. But he had that joint going all all through there, like coming out to the game, warming yeah. up with yeah. that. Hell yeah. Talk about the rap days, though, bro. Did you look at that as like, all right, bet, I'm going to make with this rap shit? Or like it was something you were just doing at the time? Man, I, w I was just doing it because my uncle cut hair and he uh, got a studio in his uh, basement. Yeah. And then he moved it out to the garage. And yeah. We used to just chill and be like, man, he used to make the beats. And yeah. we're like, man, who are you putting on this beat? And I'm like, man, let's rap on it. And it just was something fun, dude. Yeah. My man's in the hood was like, man, you really cold. Yeah. Man. Man, Went man. over there with them boys. He had some. I do it for the haters. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I want a contest with uh, Pontiac for that. Yeah, and, uh, they was trying to do like a little deal with Universal, but I ain't. I ain't really run rap, so I ain't take it. I would say you still ain't. You ain't got nothing in your bed. You ain't been writing, or you just nah, nah. <laughs> I, I'm on the A and R side now. I What's think that, that that helped me out with this DJ shit too, though. Yeah, because I already knew how to like read music and like. Mm -hmm. Know what BPMs and all that shit was. Sure. That's all I tell producers all the time. I'll be like, because I be trying to make beats, yeah. but the shit is hard. Yeah, like, yeah for sure. Hell yeah. I, I don't got the patience for it. Yeah. But, uh, but with the DJ, they be like, bro, you know how to DJ? And I'll be like, man, that shit is different. Like, yeah, it just comes second hand. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I learned how to DJ. I, I learned how to DJ by watching Slick. Mm -hmm. Like, never like on no hands on, like, teaching. Yeah. I just learned by like being there and just keep seeing it, keep seeing it. I was like, oh. Yeah. I can do. I know how to do it. Like, no, go to the sure. bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can hold <laughs> like, it. Yeah, go to the bathroom. Hold it down. I do it, and then here go, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> now with with him passing, bro, did that affect you in a way like to maybe want to just stop doing this DJ and shit though? Or like, uh, no, I had a moment where I was like, man, you know what? I'm straight. Yeah, because it was getting overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really didn't really want to do it. Like probably within the last year. Mm -hmm. I was I was chill. I stopped stopped doing all my events. Like mm -hmm. I slowed up and you know, all like that. I was trying to chill, trying to figure out a different angle. Yeah. But no, at first I was going hard. Like I was liking it. Mm -hmm. But it was it was it was overwhelming for a minute. So I had slowed down. Yeah. I was yeah. Just chilling. But I was on everything. Yeah, man. But yeah, I'm like yeah, you do everything and shit. I'm like, yeah. when I, so you'll never be tempted, bro. When you see these niggas rapping, like, bro, I can, I know I come harder than that shit. No, I be chilling. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you would have caught me, if this wave was running out, yeah. like five you years ago, yeah, I would have been like, man, fuck this. <laughs> I'm about to do this. Because right now, dog, that, like. Because they giving out deals. Bro. Like they giving out, like, how you can go to school now. School them D1 scholarships. Niggas is getting. Them deals coming you make, out. Like, you make a couple, you make you get a little noise on Instagram, bro. Niggas going. That's gonna, it, They bro. coming to you, bro. That's it, bro. Damn, I wish I would still be doing music, bro. <laughs> That's it. I said that. I said, man, they giving out deals, bro. I probably could just go ahead. But. I mean, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm still in the same. Yeah, you're still around it. Yeah, because yeah. like I'm working on, I got five EPs about to drop. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. So I'm still in it, like where the passion and with music, just me yeah, doing you it bang, myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you say I'm good with that. No, I leave that to the artists and let them do it. <laughs> now we definitely gonna get to your DJ shit real quick, but I wanna just talk about this year, dog. 2023. What's been this year been like? What's this year been like for you, man? Like ups, downs. Like how this shit been for you? This year been this been a smooth year. Like I said, this this was a chill year for me. Mm -hmm. But it's still been f smooth, fun. I did some fun events this year. Yeah. But this been a little cool year for me. Just been chilling and I've been taking my time and getting my peace, like mm -hmm. traveling and stuff more. Like yeah. for a minute, my schedule was probably crazy. Like yeah. Monday probably be my only off day, and they still calling me on Monday. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, man, can you do this kid part? Like, man, it's, <laughs> like, it's Monday, man. Like, yeah, I'm chilling, man. Yeah, like, I don't get no time yeah. to chill. So, this year been like a, uh, I've been balancing. Yeah, yeah. But like, how, how important is that, though? Find your peace and just find oh, time for man, yourself, they, bro. That shit way more important than the money you yeah. make, bro. I'm no, trying for to sure. tell you. That, uh, when they say mental health now, that's yeah. what you got to call it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man, yeah. You need it. No, no you do. You do. Because niggas think like, all right, every day I got to work, 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 nah, work. Nah, no. Like, you need time just to sit the fuck down, dude. Yeah, you explode, bro. Man. Like, I'm trying to tell you, mental bro. health is real. Nigga, I be telling my wife, bro, like, if you want to give me a uh, gift, nigga, give me a room. I'm like, you could drop me off. No, nah, for real. Just give me a room with my fire sticks, some motherfucking pizza, and some lick. No, nah, for real. <laughs> I'm good, dog. I ain't gonna, but I always been a nigga that, like, 
all right, after a certain amount of days, y'all, I'm just going to shut down and probably ain't nobody going to see me. Mm -hmm. anyway. Like, I don't want no company or nothing. Like, just chill. Like, let's yeah. just chill. Hell yeah. You got kids? Nope. No. Okay, bro. I got a stepkid. But, okay, okay, um, okay, okay. You, mm -hmm. uh, do you look at seeing, like, having some kids in the future, bro? Because I know you're doing a lot of moving. Like, Man, no, you got no, time? No, that'd be another thing, too. <laughs> I be thinking about that, like, dog, like, that's why I'm trying to learn how to balance the family thing out mm -hmm. with, the, with the work, man. Like yeah. I said, because it was a time where... I would leave here, go somewhere else, send somebody somewhere, and yeah. look up, got four events in three days every day, four events, four events, four events. Man. Wake up at 12, go to sleep at four in the morning, wake back up. No. <laughs> I did that for like a year and a half straight. Yeah, man. Like, and it was just like, all right, bro, I'm just, this is overwhelming. I'm about to crash out. Shit, I'm talking about that girl. Shit, I need to borrow some money from you, get some shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no. I, I really had to figure out, like, so this year had been, like, a chill year for me. Like, I've been learning how to balance the the days. Like, listen, this is my off day regardless of, I don't yeah. give a fuck if President of the United <laughs> States come here and say, yo, can you do my inauguration? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. No, I'm straight, bro. Hell I'm yeah. off on it today. Like, yeah. What's well, some shit you learned about yourself, though, that might be, like, like holding you back, dog, from, like, getting to that next, next level? Man, well, not for real, cause I like you said I did everything. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't scared to do nothing. So like, mm -hmm. I ain't scared to fail. I do it and be like, shit, that shit just didn't work. Like, yeah, yeah. Got to go to something else. Yeah. yeah but so, but this year, it's man. It ain't what I learned about me. It's what I learned about these rappers. Bro. Don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> man, like, cause like, so right now this is my year, to, like transitioning from just DJing. I want to like. Be on that A and R side, and that you know that Khaled side. For sure. Like when you look at DJing, you try to figure out what's the next level. Like you got BJ, he he figured out it yeah. with the piece of cat. Yeah, he turned to like business yeah, side. So yeah, so he on the business side. And then you look at all the other DJs that was like with him, and you be like, like that. That be my measurement. Mm -hmm. Like DJs that was DJing way before I even thought about DJing. Yeah. And I be trying to figure out where they at now. Yeah, what they doing, what they like. Yeah, and I be like, ah, see, yeah. I'm not trying. And no knock to them, because that might be what they like to do. But for I sure. just don't want to get stuck, stuck yeah. in the clubs yeah. for the next 10 years. Like, I don't want to be 60-year-old yeah, DJ Marathon. Man, I don't want to be DJ Marathon at 50. <laughs> <laughs> and, my, and my goddaughter in there. <laughs> really in the club. like. So I'm trying, I've been trying to figure it out. And that's when I tell you I'm working on the music. Now. Yeah. And, man, these artists, boy, you got to chase these boys around. <laughs> you got to. Man. Oh, uh, you got a big ball and <laughs> Duh. it's still late time. Bro. For sure. Yeah, and then yeah. the crazy part, they don't even be doing nothing. Like, exactly. I hit them up. Such a thing. You, you trying to, yeah. Uh, man, I'm going to be in the studio. Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm in the bar chilling and they on the other side of the bar. <laughs> right there chilling. Yeah. I'm like, man, we like, could have been in the studio. Yeah, know? yeah, man. So, man, that's the only thing that's been holding me back, man, these artists that. You think that social media giving me like certain, certain uh, artists like the big head, bro? Man, I just think artists just already had like the big hit because mm -hmm. of looking at all the the industry artists and all like that, like how spoiled it is and how they just already got everything for sure. So when you think you're a rapper or call yourself a rapper, mm -hmm. you just automatically have to turn into to yeah. that as an image, yeah. it's an image thing. Yeah. So I don't be tripping though. I get it. Now, I do want to ask you one thing though, because we talking about rappers, bro. Do you feel like all right? I see a lot of people that's on the come up and feature prices like they be charging like hella. Hella yeah. high numbers, like bro. What you, what have you done, and how you gonna make this song better? And like niggas be yeah. like, oh, I got special for the month of October, nigga, four hundred, five hundred. Like bro, like. No, I be seeing that for sure. Yeah. So do you feel like, like when you on the come up, bro, you should humble yourself and just be like, nigga, make these connections and kind of like, I ain't gonna say work for free, but you know what I'm saying? This, this. No, I would. For, I would. Me personally, mm -hmm. I would. I always thought that, like, like uh, I think they just put out. What was a young boy uh, feature price and issue was like two hundred thousand verse, <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like, dog, you get him two hundred thousand, is it a guaranteed hit? Like, yeah, yeah. And I always thought that, like, dog, when they say them feature prices, but it's a hustle too. Like in the same mm -hmm. breath, like I get it, you gotta hustle because that verse might help you with your verse. Or, yeah, yeah. You feel know, me? You gotta Cause get I, some money. I always get say studio time. Whenever a, a rapper say, "Oh, this this my deal for the month," I'm like, "Oh, they must be." Going through it like it must be struggling a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> or like, but some some of them be having like little followings mm -hmm. that we don't be knowing about necessarily because we're not even in that lane or like we ain't on that side of the music with them. Mm -hmm. But some of them like I didn't I didn't see some that I didn't sold some for people like yo my man's got a deal like you better get on this because he's yeah. really hot mm -hmm. but like he ain't the hottest but 
you get a verse from him, you yeah. little key stamp, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people start taking you more serious. Yeah. So like, I, I get it sometimes. Yeah. And if I'm paying that high price, bro, like nigga, share, uh, I want you to share the music too, bro. Like, yeah, I, yeah no, no, for <laughs> sure. Give me like you better like this song. Yeah, like, no, yeah, just give me a verse. Yeah, yeah like post this shit on your motherfucking story or something, no, bro. It ain't got to be on your main page. I be on the same thing. Like even when I'm doing songs with. The artist is I'd be like, man, you gotta like this. I just don't want a verse from you just because <laughs> yeah, you for sure. like yeah. I go to a dog that's coming up that nobody heard and then when he when they hear it, yeah. they'd be like, Damn, who is that? Yeah. And I'd be like, Oh no, that's dog, he on his way dog, here. cause my wife her her cousin he, he be doing music. I ain't gonna put his name out there, dog, but he like he uh, got you got to <laughs> <laughs> He got a couple he got a couple features and I'm like, bro, you should save that money. Cause it's like they gave that nigga D word, like, all right, nigga, I'm gonna go get him. Oh, that's crazy. Give you some D work is yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like that's crazy. Yeah, dude, sound crazy. <laughs> Can't my nigga deal. <laughs> they gave him what? <laughs> All right, man. My bad. They gave him what, what's the equivalent to a D sixty nine percent though. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> he just going with the flow. Dude. All right, dog. They gave they gave him some trash work. Just dog. Mediocre, yeah. <laughs> mediocre work. Yeah, that, that's I'm gonna help shit. you out, but that's crazy. <laughs> D work sixty nine this bitch, yeah. bro. They gave us some trash work, bro. I mean, you could kind of tell, like, damn, you should have saved your money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas be chasing these 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 features, and yeah. they not getting the, the quality of whatever, dog. Like yeah. how they would for a, a big artist. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but you know what it do too. I mean, say D work. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that also like because if, if you take your craft serious and if you're paying for them, it make your resume look good too, so you could be paying for that's your true. resume too. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Because one, like, say if you catch a song that blow, mm -hmm. and then you already had these artists in that in that song and go. Mm -hmm. When people do their homework, they're like, oh, you got a Damn, song with yeah. such and such. Oh, sure. you're like, oh, he been grinding. Yeah, yeah, you can look at it like that. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you know, you can look at it in that way too. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, D word. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Like, you <laughs> do your cousin out there, like, you got that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Damn, I'm fucking up. It's early, dog. I'm fucking up, man. We were drinking last night a little bit. I was going to let you roll with it, but I'm like, no, nah, we recording. And then, I ain't making like, no bear while I said 69. I can't just agree with that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we recording, dog. Uh, I didn't think about the percentage that when you get a D, nigga, that's under yeah, yeah. 70, so I'm 60. I should have said 65. Yeah, it's cool, though. We dog, <laughs> I'm tripping, bro. I'm tripping. <laughs> Shout out to you, cuz. I love you, dog. You my nigga, dog. That's crazy. <laughs> now, look. Uh, <laughs> Tell cuz don't watch this episode. <laughs> Hell no, that nigga be mad as hell with me, dog. He a good nigga, though, dog. But, bro, speak on music, dog, and speak on, on your, you know what I'm saying, on you. If you had to go ahead and introduce somebody to to you without using words and only using a song or an album, what song or album would tell me about DJ Marathon? Damn. It'd be on some, uh,. It'd be some Wale or something. Yeah. Some Sam you should bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm real chill. So yeah. it'd be like. Okay, okay, I can see it then. Yeah. I tell everybody, like, man, my name bigger than the person I am. Mm -hmm. Like, they'd be like, oh, that's Marathon. I'd be like, man, what y'all don't know is Marathon mm -hmm. is the celebrity or the face mm -hmm. that y'all be thinking <clears throat> in the club. Yeah. Y'all see me outside the club and I'm chill, laid back, mm -hmm. totally. Like, I don't even listen to rap for real. Dog, nigga, I just got finished saying yeah. that well, with my last guest, dog. I, I I be more so to my R and B shit. Yeah, I be on my R and B shit. I be on I be on a little bit of everything. Though. Yeah, shout but out I to just Diddy. don't be listening to rap though. Yeah, that Diddy. Yeah, that, 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 new, that new Diddy hard. Yeah, like I I be catching up with rap in the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that's when I get it. I, I be getting hip to all my new songs in the club. Yeah. Like they come up to me like you got that new. I be like. What? <laughs> <laughs> but why is it like that though? Cause like you think everybody kind of like making the same shit. And it's just music so fast now, like mm. rap per se, because like the R and B still kind of slow. Like you feel sure. me? Once the R and B song catch, it's still on. Like it's gonna be a Forever. good song for yeah for a nice little minute. Yeah, the rap song come out, man. The next hit coming out two weeks later, so we'll Bro. be over it. You know? But shit, how hard? Like when I think about like songs that like rap songs that's gonna forever be a hit, dog. Like just to off rip. Like I'm thinking about T T Grizzly first day out. Yeah, like motherfucker Meat Mill the intro yeah, they, like. That's hard because how many of those we got? Yeah. We got probably like three or four, and I get you named yeah. two of them. Juvenile, back that thing up, yeah, like like those songs like forever. That's, yeah, you got them, the new yeah. classics. Yeah. It was made in like right before that TikTok era. That's a fact. 
You yeah. feel me? That TikTok era just make everything go so quick now. Yeah. Like, it's just real quick. So is that the new wave? Like making make songs that you feel can get reposted on TikTok? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. You know, people getting deals off of t just having a TikTok song. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, they getting like rap deals yeah. and getting checked just because they got a TikTok song. Because, though, it had me thinking like, though, when the last time you heard like a classic rap album? You ain't going to hear one. Like, Unless you listen to somebody underground. Yeah. Like, I ain't going to lie. I've been listening to... Uh, Samuel Shabazz shit mm -hmm. like his he got two press play joints to mm -hmm. me and I just press play and just let them both roll yeah man and they cold but like as far as the industry industry like on the like uh, maybe that last Nip album dog yeah I, I mean, but everybody gonna listen to Nip yeah like, yeah but, but Nip was Nip wasn't even trying to make TikTok music no nah, he was just yeah, yeah just doing so, his shit yeah yeah he wasn't looking for a hit mm -hmm. he was just still making music yeah man like the mixtape the mixtape joints that's them classic joints you yeah. still listen to them mixtape airs for sure damn I miss them mm -hmm. bitches like that motherfucker uh, the soul tape oh, yeah yeah shit. the soul tape era with Fat and Weezy we got, man them airs like I listen to more of those yeah than I do like a regular album right now no like, I just sure. drove from Atlanta to Alabama a couple weeks ago and I listen to the uh, Friday Night Lights the whole way there duh yeah like man. Friday Night Lights be getting me through my drives like duh um, for sure alright real quick bro I ain't asked this question in a minute do a girl playlist determine if she a hoe or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> like, can a, can a girl play this kind of like, huh, what the no, fuck? No, I ain't going to give you a hoe. I'm like, oh, I, like, I know what you like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Because I say, like, chicks like who who be, like, bumping Especially old right Gucci. Now. Oh, yeah, see. <laughs> like, yeah, that's there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you got to know what it was back then. For sure. So, yeah. If you bumping old Gucci, bro, like, I say that shit like you. You kind of got you kind of know what your girl about by the music yeah. you play, bro. Like, but you know what's crazy, man. What I learned, the girls know more rap music than the dudes. Like, they, and they know more like like you said, like Gucci Jeezy. Yeah, they for be sure. on, they be on that. Yeah, heavier than the niggas be like, dog. I didn't peep that for sure. Heavy as fuck, bro. Yeah, that they shit, mess with that for sure. That shit funny. Everybody, dog. Why the fuck she playing that like that? Nah, <laughs> they, but at the time, you I think if they if they grew up in that era. Mm -hmm. That's how we was listening to music. That's what we was listening to. Like. Bro, it was a lot of trash. And it, I, know, I know you probably the same around the same age, bro. But them high school years, it was a lot of trash music that was getting like getting on. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> it was like... It didn't last long, but... It didn't, but some of it grabbed. And, yeah. Like, to this day, I still, like, from back then, I probably still bump some old Gucci, Jeezy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeezy ain't going nowhere. Ever, Not yeah. in Detroit. For no, sure. <laughs> for sure. Like, yeah, you can drop the TM 101. Yeah. Every song on that album, and it'd be like it just came out yesterday. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah. I was listening. What's in Heavy that's back then? then? Like a soundtrack. I was listening to Rich Boy, dog. Yeah. I oh, see. No, that's trash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Rich Boy, trash. This my, my trash was I was listening to Rich Boy, and it was this dude, y'all probably don't remember, dog. His name was Baby Boy the Prince. Yeah, he had a, uh, a little, uh, uh, he from Texas or something like that, didn't he? Uh, New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, yeah, because yeah, he had a song with Boosie. Yeah, yeah, he had a uh, little dance song or something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. No, I was listening to ass music, bro. Like, See, back then, I was listening to, uh, I was in the Lil Flip. Yeah. I used to mess with Lil Flip. For sure, like, Flip, yeah. Flip, with, Flip had a hard uh, little yeah. run. Yeah, T.I. fucked this whole little wave up and yeah, shit, though. Well, he kind of fucked up because he <laughs> started talking shit yeah, about Tip. Yeah, I think Tip. J. Quine and all them was back then, Yeah, too, like, everybody in the club getting tipsy. Yeah, like, <laughs> we a, like, we had a little, little, bro, we everybody. Had a little TikTok era, kind of, but it would. You bro, everybody, that? the snap music, bro. Yeah, that snap music. Nigga, was white tea. Then they just started having black yeah. tea, brown tea, yeah. like, bro. Franchise boys came. <laughs> which, which you can still get that off in the club a little bit every now and then. Like, Shorty Low, I know you can still get off on some yeah, Shorty Low music. Lo, yeah, Shorty Low, you got done it all in, uh, mm -hmm. they know and all that. And you know, those certain songs, like, bro, as a DJ, I asked another DJ who was on the show, what's, what's the songs in the industry that you have to play? And what's your local songs that you got you gotta play? No, no matter who depends, what the crowd is. It depends on where you at. See if I'm DJing here, the local joints, you gotta go with I mean, you could you could go with it depends on your crowd. So mm -hmm. if I'm in the club, the local joints I can pull off. I can always pull off some blade. For sure. I can always pull off anything. My East Warren boys, mm -hmm. uh bucking them the hands on. For sure, they from the hood, from my hood. Yep, I can do Drago, Bino, Sada, T 
T. Like mm-hmm. you could play, you could play dinner. Everybody is local. You can still get out that what's name too. Our dog hoes, they gonna go crazy. Yeah, I play, always play. I play <laughs> yeah, I play our dog hoes, good ass day, mob yeah. life, all that. I run through that. Now when you, you can basically play all our rappers for real. You for can, sure. Cause like I, I still I play KDZ still I can play in oh, my hood yeah because really I mix in my hood I'm gonna get I'm gonna get us away to right, go ahead give it I to mix us. in my hood with first day out okay he's like what hood you from and then I bring it in Joy Road bitch but the money oh like, shit yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah no, so, I said, like, right. yeah <laughs> so like I I be I mix it and do my mixes like that yeah that's so, shit like, hard as fuck and that's how I keep the old songs relevant with the new songs too yeah. like without even like letting people know like you wouldn't even realize it mm-hmm. even if like it's somebody that's younger that they don't know KDZ. Mm-hmm. If they come to the set and keep hearing like what, what? they just gonna start seeing and yeah. they don't even know for sure. They, that's like, it. Yeah. yeah, like you wouldn't even know. Yeah. They just think it's a part of a, like a remix yeah. version of uh, no, the first day. That KDZ, that's that's one of the best uh, rap Detroit rap albums to me. Though I stuck in my way. Oh yeah, stuck in my way. Cause like at the blade had passed, kind of like the baton got passed yeah. to him. Yeah, KDZ was on fire. Nigga, I, I went to Chantine's and paid twenty four dollars for that Man, motherfucker. You remember <laughs> 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 like no, I paid. Nigga, I had about probably thirty in my pocket. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> I I, st- I be getting off a little bit of everything though here, and then the industry music, whatever hot man. Mm-hmm. Like, you just got to play sexy right now. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You cannot DJ without playing sexy real. Bro, right now, I, I don't gonna... know how I feel about that. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I, show, I will show y'all a video of me last night. Somebody caught me dancing to it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. No, she getting off, dog. Man, and you know, like, you know how I just said, the ladies be rapping. The niggas songs, man, the niggas be rapping sexy real. I've been peeping it, dog. I be getting mad at certain, because like, you play Pound Town and it's a nigga <laughs> host, bro. I just want them to know they're not supposed to say no. they pussy pink booty hole brown, bro. They supposed yeah. to let the Some shit you got mute, dog. Yeah. Like, you know, see, but I play like ski. That, it just be fun music. Yeah, at the for time. sure, for sure. That's like, worse than my D word, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't, I, I didn't start the song over and like, oh, yo, yo. <laughs> like, no, like, duh. let them say it. Bro, that's I'm not funny, letting you go duh. out like that. Like, bro, that's funny. And but she, the, but she getting off, bro. She yeah, getting no, off. she getting off. Me and uh, Jackpot just did a skit like that too. Yeah. When uh, I played it in the club and really caught him saying it, I was like, I caught you, <laughs> dog. <laughs> dog, that shit. Yeah, we. Uh, that's see, that's, and that's how I don't know how like if you can even take rap serious. Like I, I respect her hustle and where she coming yeah. from. She, she's just rapping with. She you. funny. She entertaining. Though. Yeah. Like, that's another thing you have to be like. You have mm-hmm. to be entertaining, man. Yeah. So like like those days of just like a a serious rapper like a JD kid's like if a yeah. if a nigga come out now on some JD kid shit it's hard for them to blow up yeah you got Simba Simba like called Simba called Simba him. called but like you feel me mm-hmm. damn and Simba had a cold album but Simba called but mm-hmm. he ain't just he, yeah you want to see something entertaining like so it, like for niggas like that would you advise them like to maybe be on social media a little bit more be man, more personable I, 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 I be advising a lot of people like. Cause like when we grow up, we're like we get accustomed to like listening. Mm-hmm. That's how like Nip Nip was Wiz, for instance, bro. Wiz probably the perfect example of letting everybody see him like regular mm-hmm. and see him work mm-hmm. in the studio, like with them vlogs. Yeah. I used to watch Wiz day to day vlogs. Yeah, every damn. Day. That's a, I forgot about that. Yeah, like he kind of started vlogging before yeah. vlogging was a thing. Damn, cause my brother had put me on Wiz, bro. And I'm like, dog, this, this skinny nigga hard. Like, yeah. dog, that nigga, like, like him, um. He going crazy today, dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> Damn. I, man, we record. I got to, I got to. You feel me? I feel like. All right, man. Where's, where's, where's <laughs> doing this thing back there, dog? <laughs> you see what area we live in? I know we can't even say. <laughs> like, <laughs> dog, hey, if Cam and Mason are going to be going on. Oh, man. Cam will be on here like, yo. Yeah, yeah. I say this kid ain't going hard, damn. <laughs> you ain't right. even put the going in there. <laughs> you just see, like, this kid ain't going hard. <laughs> yeah. All right, dog. Back then, Wiz was doing his no, thing. No, but Wiz was like. <laughs> Wiz, like, that was Wiz. You had Wiz. Big Sean, and I feel like Big that's Sean. why Big Sean, Kendrick, Kendrick, yep. J Cole, and uh, uh, Drake. What's my nigga from um from down uh, Mississippi, dog? The, the uh, Big Crit, Big Crit, yeah, yeah. And Crit, yeah. You had them, but yep. I think I think that's why like people like Big Sean, we like we respect them, but like mm-hmm. we just feel like we don't know them because we never seen nothing outside uh, of his videos and work. Like you yeah. never really just see a personal vlog from him when we was coming. Up. Yeah, you always seen Wiz. While they always stay emotional and let you see how you feel. <laughs> yeah, and they always emotional. Yeah, bad. so you you get to see them 
actually be regular people too. Yeah. Like, so yeah, that, so that's important. Like, you, that's the new yeah. thing that these new artists need to go ahead and doing shit. Yeah. And a lot of people start doing vlogs and stuff like that. But like certain ones catch on because you can tell the ones that scripted and mm -hmm. the ones that just yeah for sure like just film sure. and go. Come here, J Cole had did a little vlog when he was coming to Detroit looking for Big Sean and shit. Yeah. Dog. He's at the little uh, donut and spot. That, and shit. Yeah, yeah, when he went to the, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Hell yeah, yeah but that man. shit just make you feel more invested. Like damn, dog, just like me. Like mm -hmm. you see, you would see him like oh he eating hot Cheetos. Yeah, you know, like, for sure, <laughs> for sure. But then you got those niggas who don't have to even be seen who still like a kindred. Yeah, that see, nigga. Only time he, he you see him is when he about to play he working, album. Yeah, That's when he it. working. Yeah, nah, nah. but then he come with a crazy verse. And yeah, nigga, and tore everything up, dog. Like that nigga. But that's why I say J Cole is a little bit. That's a, that's probably about the last press play album too for me. Uh, Kendrick. Good Kid, Man City. Damn, but see, ain't my favorite Kendrick album. My shit is uh, Damn. the Pimper Butterfly. That's straight. That was a little bit too woke. He was too woke for me. <laughs> he was too woke for me. Yeah, I like, I like Dan, though. Music. Dan was a cold one, too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Good Kid Mad City was like, Yeah, all that's right. another. Yeah. yeah, he put the West on his back because before that, you only had like the game. Yeah. The that's game, it. That was it. It's like after the game, then you had Kendra, then you had the YGs, and then yeah. the niggas started going crazy over on the West Coast. Yeah, and YG, YG album was cold, too. But bro, we, that YG album was hard. Yeah, bro. yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> <dog>. <laughs> oh, that YG joint was crazy. Like, you got to watch everything. I say no, nah, dog. That, that's crazy. The area we live in, you got to watch everything. Man. Now, bro, I asked everybody this question, man. I don't know if you too hard to ask. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you too gay to answer, dog. Man, when the last time you cried? What was the reason why, dog? And it can't have nothing to do with death. Uh. When I yarn. Well, that's last time you cried, though, for sure. Man, I'm trying to think, though. I don't know. He said, what I'm, what I'm doing over there. Yeah, because he used to be like, oh, when my dog died or somebody, you know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Playing Tears of Joy. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! All right, well he ain't got he ain't got uh, yeah, people. He ain't cried yeah, though. I ain't no, yeah, he ain't no crier no though. I ain't no crier. <laughs> he ain't cried though. Yeah, ain't even, I ain't even tell. I just ain't no crier. For sure, ain't no so, road with it though. Now we ain't you know spoke on you being a hooper. Spoke on you you know what I'm saying doing the music, but like you kind of touched on it. Like was uh you being cool with Slick B? Like how did you get into the whole DJ and shit? Uh, Slick. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's, cra it's crazy. What you about to say? I was about to say that, that, that he the reason why like it's solely on him, bro. All on him. Let me tell you, <laughs> this is a funny story. Yeah. Bro. Only reason I DJ right now to this day, mm -hmm. cause Slick had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Duh, so that's, the, that's the real. That's the real story. <laughs> that's the whole story. That's it. Mm -hmm. At the black party in like 2018. Okay. And they had to go to the bathroom, bro. We was at the we was at the Russell Industrial, mm -hmm. and we was on like the little podium thing all the way in the back, mm -hmm. and the bathroom was wrapped all the way around. He like, and he was <laughs> like, dog, press this button. Yeah. As soon as the sun go off, I should be back in time. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. And the crazy part, I got, I still got the video on my. Uh, what's it called? Let me see. Yeah. And um, I'm like, bet. But at this time, it's like 11:30. Like yeah. it's packed already in there. Like it's. And what was on? He gave me some song. Whatever song, I think it was like an Amigo song or something like that. Okay. So I played it, and he like, all right, don't. He like, just play that. Mm -hmm. But the Amigo song was going on because I could, like, I always been around computers and stuff. I know how to. So I'm looking like, dog, yeah, <laughs> 10 I need, seconds yeah, left. I need another song. So look, I'm scrolling through the computer like, dog. And I just drag. I didn't even know how to, like, properly put the song on. I just know how to drag and yeah. drop. <laughs> I'm like, dog. So the first name I seen that I felt comfortable with was uh, Meek Mill. Yeah. I probably picked the weakest <laughs> Meek Mill song <laughs> yeah, I could ever. I don't think I ever played that song ever ever in my when, life when you play it you see a crowd die down like it was not because it was like a bouncy song but it was just weak like yeah. i didn't have no guy like, i didn't know what i was picking that song for, like, for sure. i just picked it to keep the music going yeah. not even not even to make yeah, the crowd, make go, the crazy. crowd yeah. go crazy and then i just like yo another song has to play mm -hmm. i picked meek me a check bro like you fucking up the check yeah yeah like but i just put it out there and i put the headphones on because yeah. i didn't know what to do i thought i had to put it <laughs> So I'm up there, I'm up there like dog. I gotta just make it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm up there, and I ain't even know. Uh, I ain't even know Slick was walking back, and on his way walking back, he recorded you. He was recording me, and he put me in our chat group chat like, man, dog, I think you know what he's doing. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he was just laughing like, no, what is dog doing up there? No, we find video. He definitely got sense, so we I'm can incorporate that shit inside the show, dog. I'm about to. It's still on here because that's the that's the first time I DJ. So no, that nigga said, let me go ahead, Bob, like a DJ, real quick. No, good, and dog. listen, I really was up there like in the song, <laughs> weak trash. Like I'm talking about. He even got a video of the crowd. Like it's real dark, but you can see the crowd. Yeah. And I'm like, dog, that's the weakest song. So then I think he had an event the next day. Yeah. And I'm like, man, go to the bathroom again. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got to redeem myself. For sure. And that's how I started doing it. Like, dog, I'm always with, with him. So I might as well just learn how to do a little bit. That way he can go talk yeah. to the celebrities when they was coming in and, mm -hmm. and go to the bathroom. So that's really how I started. Yeah. All because he had to use the bathroom. <laughs> And you just kept going with it, though. I got the video right here, though. I said, mean, yeah, you got to send so we can go ahead and motherfucking put that shit in there, dog. <laughs> that nigga, that motherfucker, like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm touch the screen real quick. Like, I'm studying. Like, I'm, I'm like, dog, I'm looking for another song and everything. I'm going to send you this. Duh. So, like, what, what makes a good DJ, bro? And what makes a bad DJ? Like, what's, what's some traits? Bad vibe. Mm -hmm. that, like, it don't even matter what songs you play. Like, I know it used to be, like, times where... I used to have DJs that open, and I'd be like, bro. They'd be like, bro, I left you this song and this song. Because DJs really be on that. Like, bro, like, please don't play. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, DJ want to, they want to feel good when they drop that sexy red. Yeah. And then everybody go crazy. Yeah, for sure. I'd be telling people, man, you can play sexy red whenever you want to. Like, I don't care. Like, mm -hmm. I used to do that with every DJ I open. Like, bro, figure out your set. Like, do whatever you want to do. Like, yeah. Play whatever you want to play. It's your vibe. Like, mm -hmm. as long as you keep the people vibing, you good. You good. Like, it ain't about playing a number one song. Mm -hmm. You, I can get on here and play every song from 2000 to 2010. <laughs> number one, yeah. All the number ones from back in the day, and you'll be like, damn, I forgot about that yeah, song. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's uh, songs right now to this day that I know I brought back mm -hmm. that I hear all the DJs playing now. Yeah. Like, it's certain sets. It's, it's a whole category now Yeah, that me and Slick started. Mm. And then we was just adding songs to it. Now, do it be DJ beef in the city, though? Man. Like, you got rap beef, do it be niggas? Like, you know what's crazy, bro? <laughs> I ain't going to lie. It be like, <laughs> it be like, yeah, he don't like me type right. stuff. But you can know it. Like, it don't be like, beef like, oh, nigga, you want everything. Mm. But it just be on that, you can feel it. Like, yeah. you know how you like, all right. Catch a nigga vibe. Yeah, like, I done caught everybody vibe. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I didn't caught everybody. I didn't check the couple people on it. Too. Hey, what, like, start, what, 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 what start, like, beef between DJs because you getting more love from, man, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you know what it is. You know how, like, them old school rappers didn't respect the new rappers yeah. and they, they way. The DJs be on that too. Like, mm -hmm. you got the O's and my man, we used to have to carry. Yeah, crazy, get the crates and shit. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I <laughs> yeah, sympathize I'm sorry. with you. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure. what you want me to be born 20 years ago with you? Man. Like, bro, I can't help that that was your career. <laughs> That's like the Hoopers. Like, yeah, y'all niggas had to get fouled like we did back in the yeah, day. Yeah, like, bro, it's a whole different ball game. No, nah, for sure. Like, if you still in here, well, you know, you must have adjusted to yeah. what we going on. Yeah, man. And, they, like, you'll just get like the little slick comments or you can just feel it like. Mm -hmm. Like, some DJs would do stuff and, and invite certain DJs, and you'd be like, oh, okay, that's your mm -hmm. little crew over there. Like, got you. Mm -hmm. Like, just stay away from me. Yeah, y'all so, weird. You yeah. Man, it's, um, I forgot what DJ it was. It was on my my dog's Meet the Connect uh, podcast. Um, uh, OC? Uh, no, it was, uh, they had a guest on there, uh, Big Dog Blast. Oh, yeah. And he was saying, Tom, he stopped playing Detroit music just because of the tension between East and West. Yeah. Like if you was coming up back then, like DJing, like how would it's you still like that? It's still like that. It's I mean it's still it's East and East, man. Like <laughs> yeah, that sure. ain't a good that ain't a good reason. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Like, like do you watch? Like, that's what make a good DJ. Let yeah. me put it like that. Okay, okay. That's what make a good DJ. Yeah. Do you watch like, what you play though? Like sometimes, man, like you gotta you be aware. Like I didn't. It's just been stories since I've been DJing. DJ getting slapped, laptops threw up. Mm -hmm. Never ever happened to me. Like, yeah. Because I mean you gotta be. You got to do your homework. Like, you just can't be playing music. You, in that case, you just put an up score up there and let everybody pick their favorite song. Mm -hmm. You just got to be aware. Like, you know certain beats or if you hear, even if you ain't in the streets, mm -hmm. you hear the beats or something like that because it's your job to do your homework. Mm -hmm. So, like, if the op's in there, you're not going to play op music. <laughs> yeah, for like, sure, yeah. That's going to either start a fight or they're going to come up there and yeah, holler yeah. at you about yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. They're going to tell you to cut it off. Now, as a man, you got to feel like, do I just Go. listen to a random man and just walk up to me? Hey, cut that shell, cuz. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> like, it's been times where, like, and they come here, like, hey, bro, them, you know, man, we. And I'll be like, oh, y'all don't mess Oh, okay. Yeah. For sure, for sure. But, like, if I'm doing, like, a club, man, I'm playing yeah. everything. This is a neutral zone. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Me? But as a man, how do you, like, how, how do you react when they, like, turn that shell, cuz? 
It, it just gotta be like you gotta have that thought, like bro, it ain't turn it off. Yeah, like I like like they'll come up, turn it off, and I'd be like, it ain't turn it off. Yeah, but it depends on where we at too. Like yeah. if, we, if we like I said, if we at a club, I know like all right, I can even see it. Like all right, dang, they ain't here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just seen dog in here too. Yeah, all right, I ain't even about to hype that up. Mm -hmm. I ain't playing none of these. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ice it out. I play. I go around it now. Nah, nah, ain't nobody getting these songs. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, cause I don't even feel too much, yeah, too much. But some DJs they get starstruck, mm -hmm. or they be trying to look for that break. Like, oh, if I play his song, maybe mm -hmm. I can be his DJ or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. Man. man. So that's what make a good DJ, man. Like knowing how to control everybody, even the stars that be in them. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been times where a celebrities come in, and I be like, man, he didn't even come up and speak to me, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm a fan of him, but. He just lost me because for he sure, don't even know how sure. to, like, he's sending somebody else to tell me what to play. Like, yeah. man, come up here yourself. You know, you've been in the game 30 years. That's why sometimes you got, hey, you got to be careful with meeting niggas that you, that you fuck with. Like, oh, he said no, cool. No, I, I, I lost, I lost respect for, for yeah, a lot of niggas. I ain't, I wouldn't <laughs> say the name, but you already said it earlier, but I ain't even going to bring it back. But it's a legend. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I, and I, I didn't did an event with him twice. Yeah. And I was like, man. And then I didn't did an event where... Some old legends came in. I'm like, oh, these my niggas. Yeah. And then when they came in, I was like, oh, these still my yeah, niggas. Sure, yeah. They was like, hey, yo, anybody up here with you? I'm like, no. Nah. They're like, you mind? I'm like, yeah. man, hell yeah, come up here. I'm about to play all y'all shit. Sure, I don't yeah. care if none of you know it. I know it. Make it for sure. I'm, fan, I'm a fan right now. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm turning up with y'all. For sure. On, on for classy sure. shit I grew up to. That's like, so. now it's my favorite rapper. Kobe, my favorite hooper. I met yeah. them niggas and they was like, no, I always said like, that. Damn. Dog. I, I always said that. Like, Cause I don't really get fanned out because like it's a I don't know I never really got fanned out Bro. like and be like damn damn only person I wanted to see was Nip and I met him so okay like, how was that that was a cool joint mm -hmm. I, and I waited in line to meet him like, yeah I wasn't even like oh no I wanted to, like the whole experience like. Man, yeah. this nigga cold. Yeah, yeah, dog. You, you know, fuck me up, bro. Like, on, I ain't even meet the nigga, but he kind of fucked me up, dog. Uh, Chopper City. Remember off the uh, band? Uh, the band. Yeah. So I was doing, I was doing music, bro, and uh, I was on Twitter. So I was Dude. sending like my my link to my music, to, like all these rappers. Uh, so I sent it to Chopper. And then Chopper made a post like, I'm tired of these weak ass niggas sending me links, say music. Uh, <laughs> like, fuck. Oh, uh, I'm about to say that. <laughs> I was like, dog. I got a story. I was like all right that. after I sent this nigga the link, dog. He, he did it. So, man, man, like, hey, man, fuck you, guys. <laughs> like, and I, I love the band, bro. Like, I was I was fucking with Chopper and this. I got a perfect uh, example of what that, that happened to me. You remember you said I was rapping? Mm -hmm. I sent something to DJ BJ back in the day. <laughs> and he made a tweet. Me and him talk about this. We joke about it now. But he never knew. He never put the two together. Like, oh, that was. So I said it one time to him. We just laughed about it. He was like, man, I remember that because I had everybody flooding his Twitter. Mm -hmm. But he never had my song. Mm -hmm. So then he wrote like, he wrote or something like that. And somebody called him like, you seen what he just tweeted? And, like, yeah. and I'm tired, like, this nigga got everybody tweeting me. I don't like, <laughs> that ain't the right way to go about it. So I ended up calling him and we was just on the phone talking. So I'm like, damn, nigga, what up? Like, <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and to this day, like, that's my dog. But me and him had like a little joint like that too. All right, well, you went, you went there, you went, you went in the uh, streets and shit, dog. What is a good way to break your song for, for uh, New Orleans? You feel like you got hit? Like, what's the best, what's the best route? Man, right now, I say visuals mm -hmm. and like I mean, getting out there grinding. Like you gotta put a fa I tell everybody put a face to the music and put a vibe to it. Like mm -hmm. if you got the if you got the uh, the street anthem, bring your your hood or bring your people out. Mm -hmm. Cause ours I ain't gonna lie, our city is like a monkey see monkey. Do we like we get for sure we get caught up in watching other people and then liking what other people like type mm -hmm. shit. No, like, that's that's a fact. So like if I tell them like man, come to the club, get a booth, mm -hmm. pop a bottle, meet like introduce yourself to the DJs, right? Mm -hmm. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna show like every time people hear this song, they I'm like, dog, this much like what song is this? Yeah, Cause yeah. they over there going, going crazy. crazy. Every time I hear this song. Yeah. So like you really gotta work your songs these days for real if you ain't trying to take it like the TikTok or Instagram route. Mm -hmm. And I tell people that like, man, come out and like just tell your your crew or whoever y'all gotta just come out. Yeah. I mean just show love. Yeah, just yeah. show love. Cause like with with us, we gon' hey, this how y'all do this, man. we gonna shout you out. Mm -hmm. We gon' 
play this song. It didn't been it didn't been times I done played this song about five times in a row. Yeah. But they came right though. They yeah, came for sure. with that. I'm about to say they so if I could hey marathon chair. dog, play this no. dog, I gotta give you a couple dollars or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. My minimum a hundred. Yeah. So what what if it's trash? Are you getting a hundred back? Or? Nah, like that, <laughs> that was your entry in the club. <laughs> that was your that was your cut the uh sexy red for like <laughs> Cause a hundred to get get on right before and, sexy red, and you still play it though. Like even though if you, yeah, if you but, hearing this shit, like yeah, oh, but shit. you know what? I don't never listen to. I I put it on blast. Yeah. Like if you feel comfortable enough to give me a hundred, that means you you believe in your song. So I'm about to put it on. How quick is you cutting it off if it's trash? Oh, uh, like a verse. Yeah, for sure. But okay. I cut off the shit the number one song in a verse. So like yeah. that ain't really. Yeah. But if it's trash, I'm cutting it right off at the hood. Like ah, I'm like. <laughs> And I'm gonna still shout you out though, like man. you know, like hey, if y'all fucking with it, just keep For telling sure. me. Like For how sure. your people, you know, come up to the DJ booth and keep requesting it. Mm -hmm. That way they can see the interactions with the songs. No, for sure. Because yeah. like when you play the number one song, everybody oh, and now yeah. everybody think it's a hit now because everybody yeah. going crazy to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. now everybody want to figure so out. So y'all see marathon? Give them a couple dollars, dog. No, nah, yeah. Like I just took some. I took <laughs> and every time. Like my minimum one hundred, but man, like you might catch me when I'm just up there chilling. I was like, man, just tip me, man. Like, yeah, for sure. Like if I don't even feel like if I could if I could look at you and be like, I know, yeah. like. <laughs> you should, I ain't even about to argue with you because I don't even want you to feel less of a man and now we up here. Yeah. That that's what make another good DJ. You gotta be able to read everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. I see two little nappy head niggas coming up the steps, like, oh yeah, these niggas don't want nothing but a problem. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, man, just go give me a drink or something. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I play it. <laughs> What's the most you made at night off of just request? Uh man, I made about twenty five hundred one night. Damn. It was off request. Yeah. Man. I told you I played the same song five times. <laughs> he said, Keep playing it until I run out of money. I said, Bet. For sure. <laughs> and he kept giving me honey. I'm like, man, all right. It's about an easy night, though. Man, I was like, hey, shit, it is so after like the third or fourth song, it was the number one song. Yeah, you you know, start like, you start vibing. I was like, damn, I put it on my playlist and everything. Like, yeah, that <laughs> Hey, Make some money off that shit too. Yeah, that bitch a hit. Well, no. I'm telling you, I'm gonna push it for you. You gonna, now, if you got money like that? <laughs> is there ever a time that you go into a venue thinking, all right, it's gonna be a certain crowd? I got a certain. I already got my set. I don't never have a set, really. You don't ever do that. I, I've been freestyling since I started. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a vibe reader. Like I come in and be like, oh, all they want to do is ballroom. All they want to do is rap Jeezy. All they want to do is, you feel me, twerk. Yeah. You feel me? Like I like. Always come in. I, all, all my sets, I start off with a, just a vibe, mm -hmm. just to like see what they like, mm -hmm. and then after that, I lean heavier to this or lean heavier. To now you said ballroom. You still be playing R. Kelly? Nah, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, no kills. Uh? Nah, nah. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I get in that kills bag too. It depends on how best you up in name of love, though. I mean, see, it just depends on what mood you catch me in for real. Cause like the marathon mood, I get, I come in on some bullshit and yeah. just be <laughs> like, Duh, yeah. Damn. And I come in like if I'm at the R and B joints or something. I might just be on that where I just want to be like, hey man, y'all gotta be grown enough to listen to yeah. some kills. Damn kills, you man. No, I I play kills. Like, yeah. you ain't gonna stop me from. He got some nothing. good music, bro. But I, play, like, I play everybody. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man. Now uh, you are the. I said that in the intro. You official DJ for payroll. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Like, how did that come about, bro? Like, how did you, bro, you know, make that crazy. connection? When I first when I first met them niggas, me and Payne never talked. But, like the first three times we met each other. Mm -hmm. I did his son and daughter birthday party, yeah. and I ain't never, we just said that, and that was yeah, it. Yeah, for sure, good looking. That was it. But, <laughs> like, the mamas always booked me. They already knew me from Slick and mm -hmm. stuff. So, like, he just used to come, I just be like, oh, damn, they gonna pay. Like, mm -hmm. and that was it. Yeah. It was just like, I'm like, and then one day, I think it was Scooch's birthday, mm -hmm. and my cousin from Scooch Hood, so we went to his birthday party, and it was the in and out thing. And then Pay was like, Marathon, man, what up? I'm like, what up? And he's like, hey. <laughs> like, damn, they got a dick. My son and daughter break yeah, down. Like, I... And all we said was, what up? Like, he's like, man, you, like, man, I need you. I'm like, well, what? He's like, man, I, wanna, I need a DJ. And I'm like, bet. Yeah. And then it was like, hit me up when we outside the club. Because, sure. you know, I don't know if you drunk or I don't know if I'm drunk. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I don't want to say the wrong yeah. thing. And then, like, a couple weeks later, he had hit me up. I was like, man, you can fly out? I'm like, yeah. And then I think we went, him and Filthy Rich had a tour mm -hmm. at the time. So I think we went to like Phoenix and all like the little West Coast spots and mm -hmm. everything like that. So then we started linking. And ever since then, like payroll, another dude, like how I say, like uh, how we was talking earlier about um, putting like 
more content of just sure. him yeah, out yeah, by himself. Because he seems super chill. Bro, I know, but he real chill. But, man, he probably one of the funniest dudes I ever yeah, met. for sure. But That's how I A lot too. of people don't yeah. know that, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, sure. Pay is funny. Like, I be telling him, like, man, you need to start going live or something. Like, yeah, more that. interacting. Because, <laughs> like, people don't even know this like you. Because I no. never knew he man. was like that. Because he ain't old, but it's like he, he got that old spirit. Yeah, like, he, he, just, yeah, he, he too cool for some shit like that. he for sure like one of them ahead of the time type people. Like, where he, like... You could tell he grew up with all the for old sure. heads. So for sure, he, man. He got that old head, like, yeah, yeah, that man. OG in him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he's silly, though. And I be yeah. like, dog, like, this the pay that people need to see. Like, mm -hmm. him and, uh, kid got the kid in pay coming out. Yeah, that shit gonna be hard. And, like, we just shot a video to one of the sons a couple of days ago. It's gonna come out mm -hmm. probably around the time we dropped the, they dropped the album. For sure. But they doing, like, some different little acting in this one mm -hmm. and it's like i'm ooh, the whole time we talking we like like man it's different i'm like yeah but this is what people don't know you like exactly. they don't know that you're a silly person like yeah this. yeah like they just look at you like oh that's the boss like you for sure me? yeah like, hell yeah i look at him like dog because i don't like to talk about people when they not here this for some i ain't even on no clout shit but like yeah. to me i feel like him and like dope boys like they never got the respect i mean i felt they should get you know what I'm saying? As no, like when you, sure when you talk about the, the legends, like you gotta mention them, bro. Yeah, they always get mentioned. Yeah. Everything I heard, even like with Skiller and everybody, he he said in his rap, like yeah. his favorite rapper was the line. Like yeah. he always got a bro. dope boy. Like, and I was I was hating when uh, a good ass day came out because I was trying to rap like this shit hard. Nigga, like, no, nah, good ass day was like on fire. Y'all so, remember Soldier Boy stole the flow? Yeah, 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 like a motherfucker. He stole yeah. that shit. Like, no. he stole the whole flow together, <laughs> I mean, that shit was all on the radio. Yeah, dog. <laughs> Soldier Boy stole them all good ass day. No, he stole because you never heard a soldier rapping like that, dog. Yeah. Until that uh, good ass day I came yeah, out. I remember it came out and Soldier Boy stole them. Yeah, like, I know, he, I, know he the, I know he get the, I know he get the, they, they get the love, but I just feel like uh, when I say I guess the love, I'm, I feel like they birthed the sound of of Detroit music. Yeah, they some pioneers. Yeah, because at the blade, after after yeah, they was like yeah, they was like the. The next thing right yeah. after them. Because like everybody kind of like mimic their style, yeah. the beats. Like, yeah. It just, yeah, you know, Pay did all them beats. Yeah, I didn't know it until later on. Yeah, but see, that's what I be telling. I be like, I, when we have an art talk, that be more so. I be like, man, you know, people don't even know you did mm -hmm. this beat or this beat. Even some of the beats to other songs that y'all don't even know that he did. I be like, bro, you need to start letting people know. like, yeah. Or just like putting it out to where they be like, oh, you feel me? Feel more invested in them. Yeah, for sure. Because you like... He one of them artists though, like he get the respect and he drop when he working. Mm -hmm. And then after that you be like, right, yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but which I mean, we older now, so you know, he yeah. got his family, but Duh. I be telling them for sure, like, man, you silly, bro. People need to know that you a silly person. I remember I had uh ran to him, I had my whole ass job bell tired, dog. I was, <laughs> <laughs> that shit was that was a weak ass job. That shit was stressful, dog, because that shit was get paid nothing. I saw him, I had, this is my first did the podcast. My man was like, ask him to be on the show. I'm like, man, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, the crazy part, pay hey, cool. He would have probably been like, well, all right, for sure. Yeah, bro. but no, I didn't want to do that shit and get my little bell tire equipment. <laughs> man, man, you gotta respect the grind. Yeah, but then I always feel like it's a time and a place for it too, though. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be running up on nigga while you get some tires and shit. No, I, I say that all the time, man. <laughs> That's why I be telling people, like, sometimes, man, his name be bigger than the person. That's mm -hmm. why, like, because I be tired of being DJ Marathon when I'm not trying to be him. Uh, now, do when you I'm get tired of niggas coming to you because they know, like, all right, nigga, you associate with payroll. Let me go ahead and talk to him. And oh, see I get I crazy to him, especially <laughs> when he reposts something or, like, posts something, man. They, yeah. be, they be all up on me. Like, right now, we about going on tour. Man, there is so many DMs. Hey, bro, can, let me open up. Like, bro, why do you think that's my job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, like, yeah, to get you up. Yeah, like, like, come on. They be from, like, different states and everything. I just be like, man, come on, man. Mm -hmm. But he cool, though. Like, ever since we met and linked up, he put he put his trust in me. Like, man, Marathon, you doing your thing. I be watching. And I see you. you don't. And I be like, damn, that's crazy. Because, like, I don't even think people be watching. Yeah, or yeah. seeing, like, how I work. Yeah, but it'd be cool to hear everybody. Like, no, shout out to my man. nigga Diddy. He said that shit, bro. Like a lot of times when you doing what you do, niggas be watching, but won't never let you know. Yeah, no, you that's, that's a fact. They want to see if you consistent a, what you doing. That's all a that fact. shit. And you know, sometimes like I say, our city just the like, we in a copycat city, but we just like we just see it and we're like all right, we going with that right mm -hmm. now because that's what, bro. You know how many times like people be like uh, talking to me. Mm. And then wouldn't even know I'm DJ Marathon until I tell them. They'll think I'm like another DJ. Yeah, for sure. I've been DJ. I've been RJ Lamont. <laughs> I've been, uh, <laughs> man, I done been. Uh, the only, the one I get most is Carter. Mm -hmm. Man, they, they call me DJ Carter. 
I didn't have conversations with Carter next to me, mm. and the girl keep Carter, Carter, and, yeah, like, nigga, and I'm me. looking at her like, hey, no. nigga, he right there. And she's like, you Carter, and I be like, I am, and I feed it too. I be like, I am. Yeah, for and sure. And I be like, um, like you follow me on Instagram? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like go to my page. Yeah. And they go to DJ Carter page and be like, oh, that's Carter. <laughs> yeah, like, like who is y'all? Like Marathon. Oh, you Marathon? And no. I be like, yeah. So like, they just hear their name, yeah. and sometimes I don't even be knowing who I am. Man. Now you make a transition from being an artist to. DJ and I know you said you did it because your man's went to the bathroom and shit. Like, yeah. do you feel like kids growing up now should look past like just trying to be a rapper, dog? Because like now I'm not understanding when I'm younger that it's more shit definitely. to be involved with music without now, being yeah. a rapper. Definitely, man. For instance, Forty mm-hmm. uh, Drake uh, engineer, man. You, I don't even know how he look. Man, for but sure, I know he rich as hell. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? It's way. The sound guys and mic guys that be doing like the movies and stuff, you mm-hmm. know how much they get paid? No, for sure. They stay in mansions and all they doing is holding up a yeah, mic. Yeah, that's it. That, that's it. I'm telling you. That's why I tell my son all the time. Like, man, it's, it's, it's so much shit that you can do and make money. Oh, for sure. And be low key with it. Like, niggas don't even know you got the you money. Don't never, yeah, you don't never got to be seen. Like, I, uh, I watch documentaries and all that. So I stay like, I like to watch like stuff like that to, to see like, damn. Yeah. I could have did that. Like, you mean to tell me? I'd be looking for the easiest way to make some money without <laughs> having to be seen. No, for sure. Man. Without having to be seen, dog. Man, I'd be looking at documentaries and everything. And that's how I found out the Boomstick guy, man, movies. Mm-hmm. Got a mansion probably next door to the For sure. To the nigga who was yeah, the lead. Yeah, the lead in the movie. Yeah. Like, now, speak of dots, did you watch that uh, that blade they just did? Uh, they no. did they did something on Blade Icewood on TV One. Oh no, on TV One. No, I ain't see it. I seen Lil Blade put it up. Yeah. Um, no, I ain't see it. Like Lil Blade, that's my dog too. Like, mm-hmm. I I watched the little the little bit of it, but that's cold that yeah. they did that. He's like one of them niggas too who came like under the payroll like that. Oh, I'm just yeah. He on, yeah he yeah he like a, a, a old young head. Yeah, that nigga can't be no more. At what twenty four? Yeah, yeah. He like an old young head. My boy move real silent. I be telling him, but he a real chill dude too. Now I know you say you about to be on your DJ Khaled shit, dog. So mm-hmm. and we talked about making a band. If you had an album, the DJ Marathon album, but you gonna have five artists, it could be artists. That's sing- crazy. You said five because I got five EPs with five artists. Oh, for real? Yeah, so, my five artists. <laughs> so give me a, on your album, bro. Who be your five producers, singers, rappers? Like who be your five? Damn, I gotta do producers. It could, you know, it could be. Oh. It ain't got to, but like you can pick from producers, singers, rappers. Like just five people to make this Marathon album. Five people. Hmm. We could do industry album. Nah. Five people, and then we could do five locals. Five, all right. Five industries. Mm. I'm bringing Khaled and Diddy. Okay. Oh yeah, you about to sell that shit? That's <laughs> yeah. about to sell. Yeah, I need my marketing on on the highest. Mm-hmm. So I'm bringing Khaled and Diddy for the marketing. Um, let's see. I need a uh, Drake and Beyonce. <laughs> oh, that shit about go crazy. <laughs> yeah. That shit about go crazy. And then, I'm, and then I'm gonna tap in with Big Sexy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that shit about to go crazy, yeah, dog. Tap in. That's my industry. Yeah, like my five at the crib, like the, local. Yeah, your crib uh, uh, album. Man, they gonna get so mad. What the hell? Giving me five? Let me see. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I'm I'm taking Samuel Shabazz. Okay. Everywhere with me, man. For sure. Eat a coat is it everything? Like, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Sam is up there. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking Samuel Shabazz. Okay. I'm bringing. Uh, I gotta bring Pay. Okay. Me and Pay gone. And that just, Pay gonna bring the rest of the double boy so I can just, you yeah, know, that. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So then <laughs> I'll get Pay, Samuel, Face. Okay. Uh, what's that, three? Mm hmm. I need a chick. Mm. Yeah, a lot of chicks out here doing music nowadays. We do, man. We do. Some of needs. I mind. just I, I bring the OG cash. Okay, for sure. I bring for cash sure. now. That's for. All right, who your last? Hello. Yeah, I mean, I'm about to say you need somebody on the yeah. on the production too. Pay pay be production. Oh too. yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. yeah. A little collab. See, that's a two and one. Hell yeah. You know hell yeah. And I can use Hello in the two and one and put him back behind the mic too. Yeah, because that nigga spit through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. And hell of a, yeah. That's my, that's my five. For sure. That's dope five. That's dope yeah. five. That first one, that entry, <laughs> you selling the hell out of that shit. Khaled and Diddy alone. Now, listen, I'm a marketing genius. Man. Yeah. Like, that's how, that's how I really, like, outside of, like, people just knowing me with, being with Slick and DJ, mm-hmm. I really tricked the gram on, like, being a, <laughs> like, a, a busy ass DJ. Yeah, yeah for year. sure. Like, no marketing. I uh, I used to every time I was with Slick, I used to just record, record, record. Mm-hmm. Like even the footage for him, 
And then the footage you don't use, I used to have it. So then I just post it up behind the DJ booth and drop it in. And my first booking, this is what the DM said. <laughs> Man, I know you always book. Man. Yeah, for sure. Like, man, and I know you, and I know, I know it's gonna cost me. But I need you for this birthday party, bro. I got whatever for you. Damn. And I'm like, bro, I don't even have equipment. <laughs> yes, I don't even have equipment. I was just like, I wasn't even doing it to say like I was a DJ. I was yeah. just posting, and they thought I was a DJ. Yeah. I'm like, man. I told Slick. I like dog. I need to borrow your equipment. He let me borrow his equipment. Yeah, man, I charged him like six hundred dollars, dog, and didn't even know what I was doing. Dog, you just I was song. just playing something back to back. I didn't have a mix. I didn't duh. mix it. I really aux the whole party. Duh, but it went up. But I knew how to play the songs, or, or like if I hear a song, what to play I know after? what song it would play after just because it was already programmed in my head because I used duh. to listen to slip. Made quick sis hum real quick, dog. Man, I swear, and that was my first gig. You had to pay rental fee. Nope. <laughs> and I felt so bad. The next gig I did, I did it for free. Cause yeah. I was like, no, I got to practice. Yeah, I stole this. <laughs> yeah, I got to practice. I did the whole thing for free because I didn't even know what to quote people Wait, at the time. At what point did you feel like you was that nigga with this shit, dog? Like, how long did it take? Man, it probably it, when I did it for real. Yeah. Because, like, I got pushed in it, like, fast. Mm -hmm. Like, when Slick was alive and I was DJing, I really was just... I was opening for him, but it wasn't nobody there but like 10 people. Yeah, for sure. So, like, ain't nobody yeah. even never hear me DJ. Yeah. So, like, that's how I end up, like, learning how to, like, mix and stuff because it was just, I was working on my time. Like, right after the club, I take his equipment, mm -hmm. go in the garage, and have it for like two days and learn. And then I started, like, all right. Yeah. When he get in his RB bag, I got these RB songs. For sure. It came to the point, like, I was making my list. And then we was doing Quiet Storm. Mm. My dog Security D. To this day, even when Slick was there, he used to always tell Slick, like, hey, you down. And he and Slick was like, well, he'd be like, yeah, marathon up 100 points on you For right sure, now. yeah, like, yeah. He up there vibing. Yeah. So then Slick would come in and he'd be recording, like, okay, like, I see. For sure. Then I'd just start throwing songs in while here. And he like, nope, I'm taking that. But, like, him teaching me, that was the game. Like, all right, yeah. we, whatever song you want. Yeah. He's like, oh, you playing? Like, oh, I'm taking that song, too. For so sure. he started taking songs with me. Yeah. And then he'll put it in his joint. And I'm like, all right, watch this. I'm coming next week. Yeah. So then it became just like a friendly competition. No, like, for sure, for sure. I still got, like, post where, like, me and him in the captions, like, hey, who coming to this? Because uh, my set about to kill <laughs> Slick yeah. shit. Like, yeah. Slick about to be trash compared to me, so y'all better come catch mine. And then he'll make his little joke on his joint. Yeah, ain't, but ain't no room with no, no friendly competition at yeah, all. Yeah, that's so that's a, that's really how I got sharp with it. Yeah. When I just knew I had it, it was probably like uh, right after he passed because he was supposed to go to Chicago mm. for an R&B uh, thing for the uh, All-Star game. Mm. And then they ended up uh, booking me to come there. And I did it. Mm. And I never DJ by myself. Mm. So I had to do the whole thing. Like, Dolo. I never did the prime time. Yeah. I had to do that whole thing. And I'm yeah. just like, oh, like, yeah, I did it. Man. I made it through. Yeah, man. Yeah, because when, yeah, when I had, had, knew how you was coming on, I'm like, seeing relationship you have, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's how I, my, my first little segment started, just because of that. Yeah. Because, like, for some reason, you you know how it is when somebody die. You you know, you watch and see what people have said about yeah. them and shit. Like, damn, he, he, getting, he getting love. Like, he must have been yeah, loved yeah, in the city for real. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, what's some young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through? Like, what's some shit that you believe in as a young marathon that you don't believe in? Uh, it could be in life, it could be with this music That's shit, whatever. Question. Let's see. So I just, I just gave up hope on it. Just like you just don't believe it. Like, all right, for example, back in the day, nigga, at eighteen, seventeen, when he used to say, "Nigga, you gonna eat pussy?" I'm like, "Hell no." <laughs> Man, so don't you like? <laughs> yeah, like now you do it. <laughs> yeah, or like this, this, this some dumb ways you was thinking as a youngster that you don't, you don't believe in those, those values no more. Man, let me see. <laughs> That's tough because it ain't really nothing for real. Because like, man, I explored everything. I was doing everything. Yeah. You know what it is? I'm gonna say some shit I don't believe in I'm more like being in a, a group like uh, having a crew and shit like, mm, yeah for sure like yeah, bro yeah. I don't need extra people just hanging around <laughs> no, me, bro like yeah, that yeah. like that like back then you, yeah, were, you thought you, that was something yeah back then you had to be like you had to have you and your boys and all yeah. like that and like, yeah, now yeah. you need to call them like hey we got a two on two or yeah. you needed them, like you needed an assist all the time no. like, hey I'm about to go to this chick house come with me yeah, yeah, or yeah. something shit like that like I nah. don't need nobody yeah, fuck with that. Me, but even like when you go to the club niggas thought that 
that shit that was something you yeah, go ahead be 15, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now only two people paying for all the drinks and shit. Like, man, Hell yeah. I don't need none of that because I don't got time. I'm paying for me, man. We grown now. Like, no, for sure. For so, sure. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, you would probably catch me more so with just like the same people and everybody I'm with. Is pr- pretty much doing the same thing because I'm with uh, OC from Meet the Connect, DJ yeah. OC, yeah, yeah. and Carter, and that's about it. For sure. And for sure. we got our whole little most hated group. So yeah. like, and that's really just like a play on words because mm-hmm. like we so love mm-hmm. that we just be like, man, somebody got to hate it. Like, yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah. Like they even hate that we on top. Like, yeah, like how sure. you said, the DJ B, B mm-hmm. most hated came from like that because it's like we didn't got messages where owners, promoters, the other DJs. DJs be texting promoters, man. Carter and Marathon on everything. Why y'all don't ever book nobody else? They hate that. Like we get that, Duh. and we still say what up to the DJs just because we be like we get it. Like, yeah. but we out here working. Like, For sure, that's all y'all do work. Like, yeah, we ain't mad. Ain't point like, being mad at niggas is work. But dog. promoters just showed us messages like they want us to book. Yeah. They want us to book them. They tired of us booking y'all on everything. But we've been on everything for the last five, six years. For sure. Like every day, I was in. The, I've been in the club. I just told somebody since 2018. I've been in. Attic Sunday, every Sunday. Duh, working. Like, man. since uh, every Sunday. Man, I ain't been in a club in a minute. Yeah, like, I've been doing <laughs> all the clubs. Last been... club I went to, though, I felt like you said you don't want to be DJing, seeing your uh, your guy kid them uh, yeah, your, your brand. Yeah. I was in the, uh, in Nikki's and I saw my little brother homies in there, like. Yeah, that's what you be knowing. Yep. But you be like, dog. <laughs> For sure, you know, it'd be like that. Like, Cause we were some club niggas, St. Andrews, Plan yeah, B. Yeah, all that Zubar. White yeah, House. It was yeah. a shit. Onyx. Elysium, Onyx, all that. Onyx had the hook. Yeah, yeah Club Envy, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's when it, that shit was, was fun then. Yeah, that's when it was just a club. And it was way more. Like, right now, we only got, like, two clubs that everybody go to. Mm-hmm. Three at the most. Cause most niggas going, they go to a strip club now. Like that's the new. And shit, that's really done down from what I... I don't do strip clubs, though. Like, I always said I ain't want to do strip clubs. I just feel like that's just... Too much work. I don't know that. I don't even know like the whole setup of DJ at a strip club. Because Never did it. I always turned it down. Mm-hmm. I always said no. Like I don't feel like chasing girls around to tell them to, uh, they got to get up and dance. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't got time for the girls yelling at me talking about I ain't call their name. Yeah, you ain't, ain't playing the song. Ch- yeah, I ain't got to chase nobody for tip outs and all that shit. Like, yeah, I don't want to have to rely on other people to give me my money because they want to be lazy or do <laughs> yeah, know, for sure. Do they hustle on the side? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So I always just said no to like the strip clubs. Like, Shit, man, speak up, Fifty just bought uh tacos. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, I wonder how that shit gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> like every other strip club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I be trying to stay out of there because the strip clubs down there like at the hours, man. They're like, yeah. you see, you hear the most shit coming out out, out the strip clubs, like oh they just shot up or they just oh, for sure. So they all they always be leaving from a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah, strip club and gas stations. Yeah, like, that's another shoes. thing. That's, <laughs> yeah, for sure. that's another thing I gave up to answer that last question, man. Trying to be at the, all the spots and. Like, you remember back then, it was like, oh, we going here. That was going right there. Yep, yep. Man, I'm straight, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, that's the spot? No, nah, I'm straight. Yeah. Everybody going to be in there tonight? I'm good. <laughs> if I ain't got to work, if I ain't got to work it, I'm straight. No, we like, talk about that shit because we be clowning, like, young niggas doing stupid shit, like, like being caught up in them situations. But yeah. you was once that nigga. We was. But once you grew up, you but like. But see, back then, man, we used to fight more. No, for sure. Like it, we used to fight way more. Like mm-hmm. it was still gunplay involved, but we used to yeah. You fight just either way. beat up, get beat up, or yeah, you beat somebody yeah, up. You get jumped or something, or like y'all jumping and fighting. Like it was more fights, which I say like it'd be more respectable if they go back to that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Not do nothing, but, but not with social media. Niggas don't yeah. want to catch that L on camera, yeah. niggas. Like. Now they putting up uh, the little. Pictures of the dead homies and videos yeah. and stuff. Exactly. Like, op music is a thing now. Yeah, that shit weak. Like, that's what's crazy. Like, yeah. back then it used to be a diss record. Now it's Niggas doing music. video at, at the graveyard. Yeah, like, now it's op bro. music and that's a thing. Like, that's something that they, like, they blow up off of that. You, know? you clowning, bro. Now, towards the end, bro, we do this thing called uh, What's Worse. I give you two things. You tell me what's worse between the two. What's worse, though? You a hooper. What's worse, getting dunked on or getting crossed up and you fall? Getting dunked on. You dunked on? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Getting dunked on. You ever got dunked on? <laughs> you ever got your ankles too? Nigga? Nah, nah, man, listen. <laughs> <clears throat> My freshman year in college, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't nobody see this but the team. Yeah. <laughs> listen, uh, two of my... uh. One of my homies in uh, Indianapolis. I was with a dude from Detroit, mm-hmm. and there was two dudes from Indianapolis. This the first day we met each other. This was like we had a player meeting. Then everybody like, oh, y'all from Detroit? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. 
Hey, y'all from Indianapolis, man? Come on. Yeah. Like, I never even... I, where is that at? Yeah. Like, come on. Man, but they were sophomores. We mm. was freshmen. My man's Rob G and Devin. Man, I don't know how this happened. It was a pick and roll. <laughs> and dude was about my height. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about... And the other dude was like six, six, five, six, six. Mm. The six, six, nigga threw the ball up. But I'm thinking like, hey, <laughs> nigga, what? So I'm about to smack it down because I know I got hot. What's up? Bro, dog came from over me, grabbed that <laughs> joint, and banged it with two. I said, yeah, man. <laughs> I might drop out of yeah, school. Dog, yeah, dog, <laughs> for sure. Like, what, dog? I'm glad it ain't happening no game. Yeah, I ain't never got dunked on in the game. Yeah. I did the dunking on in games. Like, I used to. Punch on people. Yeah. I got dunked on like that though in the game. No nah, man. Like man. It, it was a uh, the nigga who shot the free throw. You know how you lined up on yeah. free throw. Nigga shot the yeah. free throw. And he missed. It. And he missed. It. I went to grab a rebound. And nigga, ha ha. No, nah, that's horrible. I'm like nigga. It was like some Sean Kim shit. Nigga, niggas like I'm looking up. Niggas point down at me nah, laughing though. You know, I used to I used to feel like the man after I dunked on somebody like like Bro. I don't care if I had two points that game. I dunked <laughs> on somebody. That was like the highlight. Dog, we was hooping. It was at the Brewer over there on the, about Joy Joy oh, Middle yeah. School. Yeah. We we was in this league at the Brewer. Dog, nigga missed that free throw. I went to go grab that bitch. Nah, that's crazy. I supposed See, to box out the one fucking shooter instead of boxing out the shooter. Cause I'm right there at the box out the shooter. I'm going to get the rebound. So when I get the rebound, nigga. Nigga, yo, the man. Yeah, cross crazy too. though, like in falling, touch the earth. If you touch earth. I got, I got, I got fucked up by uh, Dennis Foster. Oh yeah. That nigga had handles. That man, nigga I to, but I see. I had, I'm gonna say it all. I had defense. I ain't just gonna say. It. Yeah, yeah. I had, <laughs> I had defense. Yeah, yeah. Like, cause I, just, like I told you, man. My when I was in Murray, man, we had to go against everybody that was somebody. No, like you sure. had Ramar Smith. He went to Tennessee. That yeah, number yep. two in the nation. Yeah, man. Like you feel me? I. Went against uh, Eric Evans. They won the cities right after. Yep, that, nigga, yeah, that nigga was doing his thing. Oh, I used to yeah. have to check them. Yeah. Chris Duggs and all that. I that used shit to was to, no joke. Man, every day I had to check somebody that was cold, like Paul Williams and all like that. So I had defense. Yeah. So getting dunked on would yeah. probably be worse for me because like, I wasn't touching her. All right, dog. What's worse? Find out your kids ain't yours or find out you adopted? <laughs> 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 That's a fucked up situation. <laughs> uh, adopted. You think that's that's worse? Yeah. Find out you adopted. Yeah. I don't know. Them kids ain't yours, right? You might kill somebody. I know, but then you might you <laughs> you, you, you you a relief too. Yeah. Like, but- <laughs> and then we need to tell me them ain't mine. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like, damn, you don't pay me yeah. none of this in my none of y'all my family. No, like, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so it got to be adopted. Uh, What's worse, man? <laughs> Uh, find it, find that it. sound like some crazy shit though. Just <laughs> abandoning them kids like that, but <laughs> hey, it ain't my fault. It's her fault. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Find out, um, yo cheat, uh, yo yo cheat, yo your girl, uh, cheat on you through text or in action. Which one worse? Yeah, action. For sure, yeah. Yeah, like I can take a text, like yeah, take, but when that text, you just you you picture Ooh. everything though, like damn shit. Yeah, she yeah, went crazy. <laughs> And see, I always get a benefit of the doubt. Like, I don't, man, I'm like a I don't care type nigga, but yeah. I like everybody care. But I'm just like, man, it is what it is. I chalk it up to just being a human. Yeah. Like, if that always be my excuse. <laughs> like, shit, you, you are human. Hell yeah, but sure. I think you I look like, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't put nothing past nobody. You cheat it, you cheat it. But seeing yeah. it, ooh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, as long as it ain't in my house, though. Like, that's a different hurt, dog. Yeah, let me catch you at the bar or something kissing the niggas. Yeah, so, like, you, know, you just getting the motherfucking rammed yeah, in the crib. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, but, <laughs> all right, what's I don't even know how to react to that. Like, <laughs> I got, hey, put your clothes on, bro. We about to, I can't even run up on a nigga, man. You really, like, you just got to think about it. You got to wait and everything, man. I might, like. Nigga, scrap with this nigga. This yeah, guy. you can't scrap with no nigga, nigga. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Yeah, so you can't do that, dog. Yeah, so, like, ooh, that's going to just hurt all around. Yeah, like, you got to wait for this nigga to put the clothes you, on. And like. then now you just sitting there like, damn, like, nigga, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's worse, dog? Losing your chick to your homeboy or losing your chick to your ex? <laughs> dog, he's some fucked up. <laughs> your homeboy or your ex? Let me see. <laughs> now it'll be. It'd be my ex. I ain't gonna lie, cause that that's the get back. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, that's it. My homie was like, man, fuck it. Like I didn't been there. Man. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. We didn't. We didn't smash each other chicks like that. I ain't know you was taking her serious. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I had a lot of life growing up, man. But no. my ex, that's the get back. Like, damn, now she got one up on me. You no, feel me? no, she got one up on you for sure. Yeah, she got one up on me. Now I got to go hit one of her best friends or something. Yeah, her sister. Or something. Yeah, I got to go hit her sister. <laughs> I got to get her back sooner. No, what's, what's, uh, what's worse, dog? You, 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 you pull a chick and she give you her own number or she just turn you down off the rip? Wrong number. I'd rather you just turn me down. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. give me no hoes like, damn. Cause Hell yeah. You, I, I, that happened before. Like, back then when I was a kid, we used to go to skating and shit. Hell yeah. And you get the dern dern. Yeah, you like, like, damn. damn bro, I want to hurt so bad. Too bad. Hell I'm yeah. like, maybe. And then you got to. I'm going to bend it for the doc, nigga. I'd be like, maybe she said six. <laughs> like, was it five or anything? Like, Duh, damn. No. Duh. What's worse? Uh, no car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? No car. Nice crib, nice car. No crib. Man, give me the uh which one worse? Yeah. Car with no crib. Yeah, no, for sure. Hell I'm you gotta stay in the Maybach. You gonna, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. gonna let that bitch back in for <laughs> give sure. me the crib. <laughs> What's worse, dog? Kissing your girl her breath stink or eating her pussy and her box stink? Ooh. <laughs> It gotta be the box. You gotta go box, bro. No, yeah. Do you tell her like yo shit? Like I can't even do this. If shit. it's your girl, yeah, you gotta go. Okay, man. <laughs> Get a long day. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that. It, it, people won't be comfortable with having some conversation. You gotta have that conversation. All right, just the last one, dog. What's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short <laughs> nigga with tall legs? Wait, a short nigga with tall. <laughs> so a nigga, this whole little shit short, but oh uh, nigga... <laughs> yeah, nigga, no torso. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, that the no torso is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's worse. <laughs> you can't this nigga motherfucker upper body. Nigga all legs in this motherfucker dog. That's crazy. Nigga <laughs> baby motherfucker upper body, nigga yeah, fucking nah, shack legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the long arms, bro. I just had to deal with it. <laughs> dog, what you what, at the end of the day, dog? How you want to be remembered, dog? Man, just as the coolest nigga ever, man. Mm -hmm. Just for real, like it's the respectable nigga. Like, somebody, everybody, when well, nobody had nothing bad. To, I tell people, man, if you got something bad to say, man. You hate your life. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's you. Uh, I mean, or, or I did something with your lady in the in the past, and now you still mad at me about it, like, brother. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Half of the time we don't know. And some no, you don't. Do, but yeah. who cares? Like, and in the day, it's the woman though, nigga. She man, let you do like, that shit. It still be people who don't like me from middle school and high school because chicks. Duh. I be like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> This ain't you don't even know your life yet. Yeah, get over, <laughs> get over that shit, like, dog. Bro, you still mad, bro? Like, duh. yeah. So I be telling people they don't like me, man, it's yeah. because they don't like themselves. For sure, man. They want to be where I'm at or something like. They want the same reception that I get. Yeah, you you want to leave people with some motivation, dog? Man, just keep grinding. I don't give a fuck how hard it gets. Man, mm -hmm. you gotta grind for sure. Like even if you don't see this shit the next day, it's gonna come. No, nah, fact. Like, I ain't gonna lie, cause. Even with this, if people just think I'll be up, man, I still be grinding. Like, I told y'all I chill, but I still grind because mm -hmm. it's like, there's more to this. Yeah, see, once you leave here, you about to do some work. Man, I got to go straight to the brunch. Man. Hell yeah, man. Turn them up, man, this early. I don't know why they want to party this early. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man, where, where can you find you on social media, bro? Man, I'm on everything, DJ Marathon. Then I'm at Call of Duty, too, man. Just For sure. Ahead. Hey, I got to get back to my gaming shit, though. Man, I, I ain't going to lie, the gaming... I be trying. I'm trying to learn how to get the money off of that. No, for stream. sure. I'm just not consistent with streaming and like, but the gaming keep me out of a lot of trouble, bro. I ain't no, gonna lie. hell yeah. Like hell back yeah. in the day, we just used to play it, but now that joint is just like, yo, you know what? And it saved a lot of money for me too. Mm -hmm. You saying at the crib? Niggas yeah, like, <laughs> I did the crib. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I ain't for sure. Out. I ain't, <laughs> hell yeah. For sure. I ain't always hopping in all the parties and stuff. I'm at the crib playing the game. Yeah, you yeah. don't see me You see me baby I'm right here <laughs> <laughs> Yeah I gotta get back In my 2k bed dog. Man, I've been on that Madden too And that Madden we That been, shit We've been playing For that pay Oh yeah too so. yeah, I gotta get back My son dog That nigga, be, nigga beat my ass dog Playing 2k one day I'm like bro How you do this all this Yeah I ain't played 2k In about 2-3 years Yeah this nigga Fucking uh, Yeah it, it got two video games Got layup packages nigga, Yeah it's, going, two, like, it's nigga. two video games For me that's why I went I can like, really You gotta flick that bitch The right way And yeah, do a cross All right dog yeah, Hell yeah, no Yeah they spending that They gotta spend so much money Bro you got, nigga You spend 100 on the game, but you got to spend yeah. another 100, 200 just make yeah. your nigga. No, for sure. I'm like, yeah, once they start doing all that, I said, yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, bro. that's it. Duh. Uh, it's already 100 to buy the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's I remember wild. that joint was just $49. Hell yeah, $49.99, like, that yeah, bitch, dog. You yeah, good. Like, dog, and you get it, like, nah. 
It's a hundred dollars, man. Yeah. You gotta get the hundred dollars yeah. because Cause you nigga, you yeah, you gonna want your man to be like a eighty on the first day type. Yeah, shit. for sure. Nigga got that motherfucker brown sweater for three months, yeah. nigga. I mean uh, a brown shirt, nigga, for man, three months. I the I would have had two K twenty three. I probably deleted that when Madden came out. Yeah. My man still had the brown shirt on. Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> dog, but shit, man, I appreciate you coming, dog. For sure, for sure. I know it's a long night for you last night, dog. Man, was, you know what I'm saying? But we made it happen. Four o'clock in the morning. Man, but uh, you already know, man. It's episode 175, DJ Marathon, Shivers sure. A Bite Podcast. Ain't no competition for this. I don't see it, man. We up.